go, here's Malcolm with this famous oh, try. <laughs> Very impressed with this tricopter. Home build, done it in a day. Excellent. Right, here we go. The question you have to ask yourself when you've built a tricopter like this, I wonder if girls can fly. I wonder if they can fly tricopters. Oh, go on, Lisa. I'm, I'm, I'm filming Lisa, not the tricopter, I'm afraid. Just so impressed. Good girl. You didn't know that was coming. No, you? I didn't. She's and the way she's handled it has been amazing. She flew all six batteries today, not me. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. The way she's, when it started going up, I went, oh my God. Yeah, I bet this was probably one of my favorite videos that I've done in a long time. Being able to bring somebody like Lisa into the sport is fantastic. I wish I'd have had another camera to see the look on Ivor's face when I handed Lisa the controller, especially as the handover wasn't that good. Lisa had flown six batteries that day, and I could tell you now that she was really ready for this flight. The look on her face and the look of Ivor's face in this next clip says it all. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really amazed. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm absolutely amazed. What do you think, the knife? Oh, can't believe it. She passed? Oh, God. <laughs> Scary moments? I, I'm, I, honestly, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's... Well done. Well done. Lace, you did really well. Thanks for listening to me when I was trying to give you an instruction because there's a lot to learn and know about the sticks. You did really well. So I guess that wraps it up. I guess yeah. girls can fly tricopters. I guess they can. And uh, a bit better than a dead. <laughs> <laughs>